Imagine if there was a better way to treat fractures and soft tissue injuries. FastForm's SCB range of multifunctional orthoses functions uniquely as a splint, cast, and brace, delivering superior comfort and support from injury to recovery. The performance of our SCB product range matches that of conventional plaster of Paris and fiberglass products, but yet surpasses these modalities in functionality, patient satisfaction, and hygiene. The FastForm Thumb Spica Multifunctional Orthosis is an effective and comfortable solution for the treatment of scaphoid fractures and provides primary stabilization for the first metacarpal phalangeal MCP joint and first carpometacarpal CMC joints as well as secondary support for the radiocarpal and radioulnar wrist joints. Before you start, get to know your product, detailed inside the package insert. First, measure circumferentially around the ulnar styloid and the proximal forearm at the widest point. Then, select the appropriate size and arm suitable for the patient with the aid of the sizing guide detailed inside the package insert. Prior to heating, to gauge a suitable length for the thumb spica, place it on the patient's arm, aligning the radial hinge along the radius and the distal dorsal end parallel to the knuckles. Typically, a distance of approximately 50 millimeters or roughly two to three finger breadths should be left between the thumb spica's proximal end and the elbow's crease. If the thumb spica requires shortening, take note of the amount required as trimming is easier to do when the polymer is soft and malleable after heating. The thumb spica is activated by heating in either an infrared oven or conventional oven. Heat the thumb spica until it is soft and malleable all over. Before the thumb spica is removed from the oven, confirm that the spica and thumb hole bridge are malleable. If not, continue to heat in one minute increments until soft and pliable. If the thumb spica requires shortening, it is easily customizable thanks to the built-in trim levels and fold lines. When the appropriate fold line has been selected, always leave one trim level more to allow for the final length required. Then, simply cut along the chosen trim line and fold and stack onto the next level. When shortening the thumb spike up by only one trim level, simply fold and stack the first level distally onto the next level. In either case, after folding, compress the two levels together and smooth out to create a comfortable padded cuff. This feature prevents irritation, which frequently occurs using traditional casting materials. To apply the thumb spica, rest the patient's elbow on the work surface at a 45 degree angle with the thumb abducted. With the thumb extended upwards, place it through the thumb hole and spica. First, align the radial hinge along the radius while ensuring that the distal dorsal end is parallel to the knuckles. Then press the spica firmly down over the thumb to ensure the thumb hole bridge sits snugly into the webbing between the thumb and index finger. Secondly, wrap the palmer cuff around the hand and over the fifth metacarpal, and then fasten the Velcro tab to the radial hinge. Note that wider palms may require a slight stretching to reach the radial hinge Velcro strip. Next, wrap the medial wing around the arm and overlap the lateral wing over its full length. Note that larger forearms may require slight stretching of the medial wing. Before fastening the overlapping wings together with the bandage clips included, reconfirm alignment of the radial hinge along the radius. Then, starting distally, attach a clip from the medial wing fabric to the Velcro on the radial hinge, and repeat with a second clip proximally. To mold the thumb spica into position, First, roll the fabric liner protruding from the spica back over itself to form a padded edge. Then, if necessary, push the distal end of the spica and liner towards the base of the thumb to ensure that the polytrex polymer is below the first IP joint for greater patient dexterity. Then, wrap an elastic bandage firmly, but not tightly, around the thumb and wrist and continue from distal to proximal up the forearm. If desired, the elastic bandage can be dampened to accelerate cooling and setting of the polytrex polymer. Next, begin molding the spica, thumb hole bridge, and palmer area with an arm wrestling grip to establish a comfortable fit while simultaneously compressing the dorsal side with the opposite hand. Where appropriate, verify that the tip of the thumb 
and index finger can easily form a pinching grip for greater patient dexterity. Then work proximally by cupping the wrist and overlapping wing sections into position. When fully rigid, remove the bandage wrap and clips. Next, release the overlapping sections of the palmer cuff and radial hinge as well as the overlapping wings. A combination of the thumb spica's overlap design and tensioning straps maintain patient comfort while enabling swelling relief or prescribed compression. The primary tension strap has an optional compliance lock which indicates and deters unauthorized removal. To fit, affix the compliance lock strap to the Velcro on the radial hinge and thread it through the medial wing slot. With the buckle facing laterally, secure it in place. To deploy the optional compliance lock strap, loosen it to the desired working distance, push the fastener peg through the nearest perforated hole, and snap to lock in place. To fit the secondary tension strap, repeat the process by securing it to the forearm at the widest point and secure in place. Properly tension each strap for a snug fit. It is not necessary to use a saw to remove the thumb spica. Simply release the palmer cuff tab and straps. If the compliance lock is engaged, cut the compliance fastener peg with scissors to remove. Then flex open the overlapping wings for quick and easy removal. Once the thumb spica has been removed, it can be used as a rehabilitation brace to provide continued support to the limb. To prepare, completely flex the overlapping wings back and forth to loosen the hinge until it flexes easily. Repeat for the palmer cuff hinge. The thumb spica closes and opens easily and is now ready for rehab use. Fast Form Advancing Orthopedics